This is the pantry where the fire originated. That an alarm had gone off in. Two hours later, my place was destroyed. I had some containers with various bits and bobs, like um, batteries, sewing supplies, just kind of my organized pile of stuff, um, including the batteries. Paula was forced out of her condo after a fire left it uninhabitable. She says an investigation by her insurance company determined the fire was caused by batteries left in her pantry. This is the, the pantry. Um, there was a door here. Thankfully, the door was closed, um, uh, so it contained the fire, but still the smoke affected the whole unit. Fire experts say the small objects can be a big safety risk. Give an example, here's a nine volt battery. The positive and the negative uh, uh, posts are in close contact to each other. So if these uh, contacts come into um, in, in contact with uh, anything conductive like metal, uh, if you imagine in an average household, you, uh, we all store batteries in, our, in, a, in a household drawer and in there could be paper clips, loose change, keys, anything that's conductive. If it comes in contact with the, uh, with the posts on the battery, can create an arc or a fault and create a heat source and, and cause a fire. What about things like AA, AAA batteries where their positive and negative aren't right there together but they could still pose a problem? It's the same risk if you have a pile of those batteries put together in a bag they can be in orientation then come into contact and, and create the same problems. Those should be stored in the original packaging. Usually the original packaging is lined up with positive and negative on one side and prevents the battery from moving around. And if you don't have that original packaging you can take further precautions. Just cover the leads with the electrical tape until it's utilized. They seem uh, small and, and innocent, but a battery contains a lot of energy. It's just, I, I want to prevent this from happening to anybody else, if at all possible. In fact, batteries are considered household hazardous waste and should be dropped off at proper disposal depots. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.